Okay, so today we're here to convert a Illustrator document to an AutoCAD file for use in the laser cutter. Now everything we go over here is specific to the way we use files here at DesignWorks, Syracuse University's Department of Design Fabrication Lab. But the general practices should be applicable to anywhere. You would just want to talk to your operator and make sure some of the specifics in terms of color or line weight um, match the settings that uh, the driver for the laser cutter that you're using um, uses. But aside from that, it should all be pretty similar. Okay, so here I have my fabulous poster for uh, shop monitors. Uh, I'm all ready to uh, it's all laid out and I'm ready to laser cut it. But there are a few things that we need to do first. Um, one of which is put them on, put it on a template, but um, we'll talk about that in a minute. I have to do some other things to get the file ready. Um, first, e the laser cutter will only, only does lines. And in this drawing, if we select something here, we can see over here that there's a black fill and a white stroke on um, all of these objects. So the text is all black. What's going to happen if we try to send this to the printer or the laser cutter now is that it's going to cut everything twice because as when you export it out the fill and the stroke come in as separate lines so there'll be two lines which means it'll cut it twice which mean is not good so um, the first thing we need to do is um, change that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna going to select all um, I'll use my keyboard shortcut, Apple A, or um, I can go up here to select and do uh, select all. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make sure my fill color is selected by clicking on it and I'm going to hit nothing. So even if your fill color is white, you run into that same problem. So you need to make sure it has a little red line through it, so that it it is having it has no fill. Uh, next, I'll click on my stroke box here, and I'm just going to do black. Uh, so I will click out and unselect everything, and this is what I want my file to look like where everything is just an outline. So now there, if we click on this anything we'll see that there's just a stroke so when we export it out we'll get one line and the laser cutter will only cut one thing. Okay, in addition to that um, what we all, the laser cutter also looks uh, at the thickness of line. So right now, um, all these lines are one point. We can see that up here. Um, or we can also see that here. Now, since we're using AutoCAD to um, essentially print these things from, AutoCAD doesn't um, deal in points, it deals in inches. So we need to change this to a thing that we know the right size. Um, and so the first thing we're going to do is go up here under Illustrator, go to Preferences, go to Units and Display Performance, and then here under Stroke, we are going to change that to inches and hit OK. So now up here, instead of seeing one point, we see 0 0.0139 inches. 
Oh, except for I only had the one thing selected. So again, I want to select all. Click in that in that stroke box up there. 0 0.001. Actually, we'll do zero zero one. Three zeros and a one, and then hit enter. Okay, so three zeros and a one. Unselect, and um, so now everything in my drawing is. Uh, just an outline and has um, a stroke weight of 0 0.0001. Okay, so we're almost ready to convert this. Um, but there's one last step that we have to do. This text uh, is still text and um, AutoCAD doesn't like that. I mean, it's not entirely true, but you're relying on us having the font on our system and um, you can't rely on that. So what we need to do is um, we want to select all the text. So if we go up here under Select, Object, Text Objects, click that, that will select all the text. And now what we want to do is we want to convert um, that um, text to outline. So we go down here and go create outlines and hit that. When that's done is it it's changed our text from um, you know text that can be the point size can be changed and you know the letting and stuff to lines so as if we had just drawn all this text by ourselves which means that AutoCAD will um, just see it as lines and not as text so we don't have to have the font installed on our system but it also means you lose some editing capabilities so you want to make sure you do that last so you can still edit your text okay one last thing um, we want to do before uh, we send this, put it on the template and send it to AutoCAD, is we want to ungroup as much as we can. A lot of these things are grouped, and when we bring groups into AutoCAD, it can do some strange things. So I've uh, again, selected everything with my Apple A, or I could go again, select all. I'm going to go to Objects, Ungroup. Um, and we want to do this several times because there's a lot of little groups in there. And I want to make sure that I can um, drill down. I can also use the keyboard shortcut. Uh, shift Apple G. Left all just to double check. Everything it is no fill. It's a black stroke, although the color isn't that important. Um, but black is probably easiest. Stroke weight is 0 .001, and uh, that is about it.